So continuing on with the videos of things I learned at MAGFest. Now, MAGFest, like many conventions, happens at a hotel. And like most hotels, and I dare say all of them, they don't really appreciate it when people run around and trash the place, you know? So let's, you and I, hypothetical viewer, have a quick conversation about etiquette at a hotel. I don't believe, honestly, that I have to have this conversation, but having been at a hotel full of people, I must say that yes, we apparently need to have this conversation. Number one, if you are drunk, remember that. Yes, you are drunk, and that a lot of your impulsive ideas are stupid. Don't do them. If you're drunk and suddenly something inside of you says, hey, it would be really fun to tip the TV over in our hotel room, don't do that. Really, people, get drunk, sure, have fun, great, but keep it to a level where you're not throwing a TV off a balcony. That happened one year. Really. Or where you're screaming at every random person you meet in the middle of the hotel lobby at the top of your lungs. Or you've decided suddenly you're going to climb the light poles outside of the hotel smoking area. None of these are good ideas, but I saw people do all of these things. So don't let your drunk get to a point where you are no longer in control of yourself. Now number two. Number two is another point that should be very obvious. Respect for your fellow hotel goers, whether or not they are a part of the convention you are at. And this ties into one because a lot of people violate this when they're drunk, but if somebody's clearly uncomfortable and is not wearing a badge and is not a part of the convention, don't go out of your way to mess with them and antagonize them for no particular reason. If you're at a convention that you love, this hurts the convention. The hotel gets complaints. Hey, you know, those rowdy assholes that you've let rent this place out, are, well, they're ruining it and we're not coming back. And if they get enough of those complaints, well, they won't welcome your convention back. It's quite simple. If you cost them more money than is worthwhile for dealing with you, they won't deal with you. So let's go right on to point three about etiquette here in a hotel, which is that hotel employees, they don't need harassment either. Yes, they're not a part of a con, and sure, they might fall a bit into number two, but it's more important than two, which is beyond not bothering the other random hotel visitors, the hotel staff does not need your shit. Let's, let's be honest. They have a job. They might get paid fairly or whatever. Maybe they don't. You don't know. And they deal with enough shit as it is without some drunk-ass Congo or screaming in their face or puking all over the floor, you know? Number four is a little more nuanced. Not quite so obvious here, which is if we're at a hotel and convention or not... It doesn't matter. Don't steal things. Like, I actually saw somebody getting taken away by hotel security because they tried to steal from one of the gift shops in there. Like, how stupid can you be? But people are that stupid, and I think not all of it's stupidity. Some of it's ignorance and just a lack of forethought. So if you're one of those people that likes to be impulsive, especially at a convention or at a large group gathering of any sort, Please keep in mind that your actions do more than just reflect upon yourself and get yourself in trouble. You reflect upon the whole group that you are a part of, whether it be a group of friends or an entire convention of thousands of people. It doesn't matter. If you're running around screaming your head off at every random person you see too incoherent because you're so drunk to even be understood, then that reflects on everyone around you, not just you. If it was just you, well, fine, you can be a drunk idiot or high or whatever, as much as you want, and that's on you. But if you're going to run around a convention or a large group of gathering of some kind and do that, just be aware that this doesn't just reflect on you. It reflects on everybody around you who is a part of all of this. And you know what? They don't deserve that, even if you do. They don't. And quite simply, if that doesn't bother you, if you don't care and you're just like, I'm out for me and I'm there to have my fun and screw everyone else, well, you're an asshole. You shouldn't be there. Don't go. And if you really must go just because you get your jollies off screwing up everybody else's good time, well, then just be aware that, well, conventions have security. And if you run afoul of them, the least that will happen is you're not welcome at the convention ever again. And depending on what you are doing... 
Conventions don't magically suspend the laws. You can go to jail, for real. Especially if you're trying to steal something. You can sit there and say, well, it was just a joke, like that guy did as he was being carted off. But you know who really doesn't appreciate the joke of stealing? The law enforcement officers who come to deal with your dumbass. They don't appreciate the joke, you know. It's not a ha-ha for them, it's a jail time for you. So please, if for nothing else, if not for the sake of tact, politeness, kindness, or human decency, you think about what I have said and keep it in mind so that you don't end up in jail. Can we all agree that this is a good thing to do? That we can all just have some tact, some common decency and courtesy when we are in a gathering, especially a convention, a big magical time that we should all be having fun at together, sharing it with each other and not being assholes. That's what it comes down to, people. Just don't be an asshole. Just something to think about.